Michelangelo de Levitico Butinari Simoni was born in Caprese, Republic of Florence on March 6, 1475. He was born into a family who belonged to minor nobility in Florence for generations before, but by the time that Michelangelo was born, their family name had lost its status. It was considered to be something of a downward social step to become an artist at the time, and his father had many objections about his son becoming an artist. He wasn't much interested in schooling and devoted much of his time to watching the painters at nearby churches and drawing what he saw. He became an apprentice at age 13 to the city's most prominent painter, Domenico Ghirlandai, for what was supposed to originally be a three-year term, but he left after only one year because he had nothing else to learn. Due to his obvious talent, Michelangelo was taken under the wing of the city's ruler, Lorenzo de' Medici. Medici surrounded himself with poets and intellectuals that had access to the Medici art collection. A sculptor who contributed his works to the Medici art collection, Bertolo de Giovanni, was the nearest thing he had to a teacher of sculpture, but Michelangelo did not want to follow his medium or approach. He was looked after by Giovanni until he died in 1492. Unlike most Renaissance artists who learn about human anatomy from live models and ancient sculptures, Michelangelo examined and dissected corpses in the convent of Santo Spirito. After 1545, Michelangelo mainly devoted himself to architecture and poetry for the remainder of his life. He was described having a contentious personality and a quick temper, which led to fractious relationships, often with his superiors. He sometimes fell into spells of melancholy, which were recorded in many of his literary works. Although he never married, Michelangelo was devoted to a pious and noble widow named Vittoria Colonna, the subject and recipient of many of his more than 300 poems and sonnets. Their friendship remained a great solace to Michelangelo until Colonna's death in 1547. Michelangelo died on February 18, 1564, just weeks before his 89th birthday, at his home in Macelle de Corvi, Rome, following a brief illness. A nephew bore his body back to Florence, where he was revered by the public as the father and master of all arts. He was laid to rest at the Basia di Sante Corse, his chosen place of burial. At the age of 24, the young Michelangelo, during 1498-1499, he wanted to acquire the most beautiful work of marble that no living artist could better. Within two years out of a single block of marble, one of the first pitas depicts the body of Jesus in the lap of his mother Mary after the crucifixion. The creation of Adam was one of the most talked frescoes in the Sistine Chapel took Michelangelo over four years to make. Within this illustration, God is reaching out and touching the finger of Adam to give him the gift of life. Covering the entire wall of the Sistine Chapel, in it we see the second coming of Christ as he delivers the last judgment. His monumental work took five years to complete and consist of 12 individual figures. It is said that Michelangelo put himself portrait inside. Michelangelo is considered by many to be the greatest artist of his time. At 17, his journey began by dissecting corpses and studying the human body. This gave him further practice and knowledge of human anatomy. Therefore, his lifelike sculptures are still monuments of skill that have not been surpassed till this day. Michelangelo was not only a master of sculpting, but also a master of painting. He developed his own anatomical drawing language and other forms of art such as mannerisms. Mannerisms is the over-exaggeration of expression which led to inspire artists after him to do the same. Michelangelo's sculpture, David, may be one of the most, if not the most, influential pieces of artwork till this day. The sheer size and depth of the sculpture just shows the skill and time he took to perfect his skill. His art was one of the biggest inspirations that started the humanist movement. This movement was to challenge the church and authority to allow citizens to choose how they think and to embrace human achievements. <laughs>